this is very exciting. They tiptoed in. You can hear a pin drop right now, but all of five seconds of summer are in the studio. Yay. Gentlemen, great to see you. Hello. Hey. Callum, Michael, Luke. Boys, welcome back. Great to have you here. Thank oh, you. Thanks for having us. Believe it or not, we're actually quite polite. We came in, you know, very non-rock bandy. <laughs> Mm. Well, yeah. Do you do you when you travel? Do you create a stir? I mean, I know that you have rabid fans, but do you create chaos like rock stars? No. <laughs> no. I think that's why we still exist. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> it. We're pretty smooth sailing, which is nice. Think, I don't even think people know that we've entered rooms or exited. Oh, rooms. I, I doubt <laughs> that. <laughs> it was, I mean, we're pretty tall as a band, so I guess that gives us away a little bit. But yeah, I, <laughs> it's one of the things that uh, you know that I I I envy is all of your height combined. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But how how long have you been together now? Let's look back. How many years now? Seven. Does that seem like years? does seven seem like it's gone fast? Yes. Yeah. And and Ashton, how do your different points of view merge? Because they're not all the same. Yeah, they're difficult. Um, which is one of the best parts about artistically evolving. Yeah. I think uh, we all challenge ourselves to bring something fresh to the table, especially being our fourth record that we're about to release. Mm-hmm. Um, eventually. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, and I just think, especially on this fourth album, we all had to agree to continue pursuing something that was fantastic and new for this band, and that's why the sound has changed. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a it's a great evolution from Youngblood. Um, this new song, particularly Easier, I'm I'm very very excited about. We're gonna play that in just a second, Callum. Working with the Chainsmokers, how did that impact the band's progress? I think uh, one of the main reasons we work with the Chainsmokers is just because it's kind of you know, to us, total juxtaposition in ways. And that's another reason why we're going on tour. I think it'll be a great great way to, you know, open us up to a total brand new audience, which Mm -hmm. I think this band um, always wants to take on challenges. And that's just another uh, big one we have to conquer, I think. We've mm-hmm. got um, a show coming up, uh, Luke Wango Tango, June 1st. This is uh, mm-hmm. a big show for us. Taylor Swift is going to be there. Halsey, the Jonas Brothers. Luke, what will Five Seconds of Summer do on the stage for everybody that's going to Wango Tango? What, we do? what, what will we do? Yeah. When, uh, I think we gotta, we're going to figure out some tricks up our sleeve. I think we're going to do what uh, what we do usually. You know, it's a it's a pop rock show. Like a yeah. handstand? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a few backflips, you know. Um, yeah, I think we're going to do what we do, and I think we're going to try and entertain the audience as much as we can. That's what we always do, you know play our songs and give people a good time and uh you know ashton's gonna beat the drums as hard as he can and you yeah. are gonna you know me you're gonna open the show too are we are yeah. we I all right if you didn't know now you know we didn't know that i didn't yeah. know that better create a banging intro I'm yeah major. Gonna open the show. Well, major. you're gonna see a great intro that's huge major intro and they will be the first ones on stage i mean this is in years past bruno mars open Katy perry open five seconds of summer is gonna open this one so awesome everybody want to get there early i've got six feet five eleven six one and six four that's five seconds of summer those are their heights <laughs> you decide who's who we're gonna six, come back four. Six, uh, four. Luke, you're six three and a half at least i, I don't think so <laughs> we're gonna come back <laughs> in a minute least. to pay a bill that and seems, i got new music large. hang on kiss fm <laughs> all right i got jess on the line jess in downtown la jess how are you hi ryan i'm good how are you i'm good how can i help you well i just have a question for five sauce oh you do well they're here so it's convenient hello Hey. Hi. Hey, what's up? Hello. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Okay, so you guys are going now on uh, tour with the Chainsmokers. We are. Is Perfect. there any mm-hmm. new projects or what's next for Five Sauce? There is an abundance of new music coming, mm-hmm. uh, which is which is fantastic news, particularly for us because we're sick of playing the old ones. <laughs> I'm sure you, you're ready for new stuff, right? <laughs> um, are you going to come see us or is that out of the question? Um, no, I don't have tickets, or I haven't. Oh, well. Ryan has news oh, for you. I have news for you. I've got Wango <laughs> Tango tickets for you to go see Five Seconds of Summer open the show. Are you down? Yes, totally. All right. oh, oh, good. God. That's great news. Well, we'll see you there. Looking awesome. forward to it. All right, Jess, thanks for listening to us. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you one Jess. sec, we'll get you those tickets right now. Uh, let me. I want to play easier. Anything that you want to say before we run it, before we spin it? It's good. It's good. Mm. And here it is on Kiss right now. Easier. So good. That's new five seconds of summer. That bass. The bass is amazing. The bass. The bass. (laughs) (laughs) Finally. Yeah, no. there we go, Kev. Why? 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 Who gets the pat on the back for the bass? A lot of people don't uh, don't don't recognize the bass, but Cal really? Cal's been creeping forward, Cal's been laying yeah. it down. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Cal is what you would call a superstar bass player. <laughs> you very That's you what are. they call me. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's blushing. Uh, oh. I, I love the universal lyrics. It's like, is it yeah. easier to stay, easier to go? Yeah. And you get the best you get the best version of me when you're going. Mm-hmm. It's like Damn. You get, yeah. Right? It's dark. Yeah. I but it's true. <laughs> it is true. Like yeah. when you're about to lose something, you become the best you. Yeah. It's true. That's true. You don't know what you got. So so how, going? Is that the saying? Yeah, yeah. Where where did it? How did that start? How did the notion of the song begin? The song was basically it's coming from on Young Blood. We kind of discovered that we wanted to go for more of an electronic kind yeah. of sound with industrial influence. Um, and this song was written with uh, Charlie Puth, Ryan Tedder, Ali Tamposi, uh, which is awesome. New collaborations for us, which is super exciting. So mm-hmm. that's how the song came about. It's great. It's really great. I mean, I, I know you guys are excited to start playing that live too. Oh, yeah. very, very. 100%. I it's, think we're thinking about opening with that song. So you never I was know. We'll see what happens. That as you guys opening, I really <laughs> was. I was like, this would be a great opening song. Yeah, yeah. we'll see what happens. We're gonna put the that sunshine, together. Sunshine, yeah. people in their seats. It's perfect. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Ooh. <laughs> Five seconds of summer. I have a few things that came in. Now, I find that your fans have better questions than we do, so let me just find a couple of these, um, and I'll just run through uh, each of you for these. But let's see. Uh, this is from uh, Kina. So if you were not, let me ask you. So, Michael, you take this. If you were not in Five Seconds of Summer, which band would you want to be a part of? Ooh. Um, good question. What should I go with here, guys? What are we thinking? Earth, Wind, and Fire? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Toto? Maybe. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> great. Something not in this era would be fun. <laughs> throwback, right? Something not in this era. <laughs> I agree. That would be fun. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, here's another one. This. Uh, okay, Ashton, you take this. Okay. If you had to get matching tattoos, mm. what would you all agree on? Oh, uh, we have them. Okay, what is it? Uh, we have the tally, which we nearly got sued for, so that's not our logo <laughs> anymore. But but it is. It's a sore spot. <laughs> but it is in my skin, so. Okay. <laughs> and all of you have it? Is it in the same spot or different spots? Do you spots? not have it yet? Well, okay, so here's oh! the story. So we, we're in, like, where are we? We're in Liverpool. We're yep. in some weird, like, quite dodgy part of town in England. Yeah. And, and I had the idea. I was like, guys, let's all go and get... Five sauce tally tattoos. And we're so like, that's cool, like let's, four, let's four sticks and, and a cross. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we're like, let's go and do it. And we get into this really, really sketchy tattoo shop. And Perfect. I was like, I didn't know about this, guys. And Ashton's like, what do you mean? And Ashton's he's halfway already, through. Already <laughs> <laughs> and, tattooed into him. and then I was like, I don't think I can do this here, Ash. And then he was like, oh, okay, guys, see you later. And then I left. Well, it cost me 10 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> so you Which don't have good. one. You never got it. No, but I was meant to. But and I, sh- yeah. I should have. But everyone else did? Callum has. I, yeah, yeah I, I got one. I haven't, Luke, I haven't got any tattoos. You don't any. <laughs> if I was going to get one, it'd probably be that. It shows so. like the commitment, you know? Yeah. Well, from uh, some of you. It's obviously, yeah. <laughs> it's obviously like yeah, long You're on the fence, yeah. apparently. I'm, I'm working on it. To be fair, I was, you know. That's why you hear like a lot ten, of. I was like 10 years old or something. That's why you hear a lot of. You were young, actually. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, this is from Adorkable. Callum, how are you handling being the only single one in the group? Oh, terribly. <laughs> it's kind of oh. old. It's, oh, it's no. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm just working on me, Ryan, you know. <laughs> of course. It's time to focus on being your best so yeah. Ultimate single answer. <laughs> That's so true. Are uh, the other guys a little envious? Uh, No, I don't think so. Are we envious? So. No. <laughs> no, I've been there, done that. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you've, you've done I'm pretty stage. happy at the moment, actually. It's so great. when you guys are going to be going on tour and stuff, you're going to want to go out and they are going to want to stay in? No, no, girls? I'll be going out we'll as well. Oh, you'll be going we'll, out? We'll okay. be going out. I still love to go out. Don't get me wrong. Nice. But like mm. Calum's, Calum's <laughs> coming out with me a lot, a lot of thir- third wheel action. Third wheel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Because yeah, I did that to true. your to your ex as well, so yeah, I feel like uh, we're kind of the, the third wheel is a great wheel. Mm. Okay, <laughs> the yeah. most important it is, one. It's the most important wheel. The most important the tricycle. Wheel. Yeah. Tricycles are cool. <laughs> All right, Kiers is asking, what is the photo on your lock screen right now? So, Ooh. Luke, what's on yours? Oh, good question. Um, I have, <clears throat> I have a picture of my dog and my girlfriend. Aww. And me. I don't yeah, know. See, this is the thing that I've always found uncomfortable <laughs> with Luke's lock, lock screen is that he's in it as well. <laughs> <laughs> I've, always, I've always found that kind of screen. That is is that funny how he left himself well, out? Well, I, you know what? I had it as a, different, as a different photo, and then my girlfriend picked this one out, so I was like, all right. Well, I mean, it's, I'm kind of, I'm kind of at the forefront you of this one. Oh, I don't know, if, I don't know if I dig it. It's so weird. It's like a selfie of you guys. You let, you let your, you let your girlfriend touch your phone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's the key to all successful Ooh. relationships, guys. <laughs> it really is. I do not. What is? What kind of dog do you have? Um, Big fat one. <laughs> yeah, it's a. <laughs> hey, Damn, that's oh, sorry. Yeah, no, it's so cute. <laughs> she's huge. She? She's not um, really cute. I wouldn't call her cute. She's a bulldog. Is she? She's huge. 
And now I feel uncomfortable looking at my face. She looks like <laughs> 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 I didn't pick it, just so you know. This she was picked out. She looks like a baked potato. She does. The dog. The said. dog. Yeah. <laughs> Not your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, so listen, we are super psyched to see you at uh, our Wango Tango coming up on uh, week Saturday, June 1st with everybody, opening the show, Five Seconds of Summer. Congratulations. Love to see you. And uh, and, and uh, just I, I'm, I think the evolution of what you're doing is so cool. I remember we talked at the Vegas show, yeah. the festival, like two years ago. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you were talking about how the music is really, really progressing and how the things that you're doing will sound different. And the fans continue to follow it and love it. So mm -hmm. congratulations. Thank, thank you, you, man. Thanks thank for your time. You. Yeah, thank of you very course. much. Great to see you. We'll be right back. Kiss FM.